Um, I do our production, quality control, back into the house stuff um, for James Coffee. Today we're going to be going over how to brew a better cup of coffee in your drip machine at home. If you like what you see today, go ahead and give us a like, maybe a subscribe, um, turn on those notifications, and look out for our next video. If you make coffee at home, you probably use a drip brewer, some kind of auto brewer, or if you make coffee in the office, they might have a little drip coffee brewer that's just an automatic basic brewer. That's what most people use. You might wonder sometimes like, ah, oh, sometimes my coffee tastes really good, other times it's kind of so-so. What can I do to make that better or even just to make it more consistent? That's what we're going to talk about today. First to start off, the biggest thing you're going to want to do with your brewer is figure out how much water you're actually brewing with. That's the first step in getting an actual recipe of how much coffee you should use. With this brewer, it actually allows me to just fill it to different levels and those levels are going to tell me exactly how much water I'm putting over my coffee. Not all brewers are going to be like that where you just fill the reservoir and it uses all the water so if you don't know for sure that what you put in the reservoir is what goes over the coffee go ahead and put water in your brewer like you normally would and just brew a batch once it's brewed take that water and just weigh it honestly you can measure it in ounces or you can weigh it on a gram scale and take whatever that number is and that's how you're going to determine how much coffee you're gonna actually use for your um, drip batch or at least where to start with your coffee on this brewer the measurements are actually in ounces. Today I'm gonna to make a full big pot. I'm gonna fill this guy up so everyone has a lot to drink. We're gonna start with this brewer and I'm gonna fill it up to the 60 ounce line. I'm gonna go ahead and take whatever my ounces of water are and I'm gonna translate that to grams because it's just a little bit more like easily like translatable. 60 ounces is actually gonna equal about 1700 grams of water. What I wanna do is that I'm gonna start with a really base coffee brew ratio. For most drip coffee, it's actually gonna be brewed at a 15 to one ratio. We talked about this a little bit in our pour over video. So if you have more questions about brew ratios or brew methods, that's a really good video to reference. Again, I got 60 ounces here, that's 1700 grams. So what I'm actually gonna do is take that number of 1700, that's gonna be my 15 parts in my 15 to one ratio. So I'm gonna divide that 1700 by 15 to get my one part which is 114 grams. It's really 113.33333, but I'm gonna go ahead and round that up to 114 grams of coffee. Having these numbers is gonna make it so that your brewing is a little bit more consistent. So I really highly recommend if you brew coffee at home, invest in a little scale. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is a pretty fancy one. You can just get a basic gram scale for your drip coffee at home is perfect. If you already have a kitchen scale, that works great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coffee. Um, today we're gonna make our white owl. Um, I'm gonna grind it at a medium to fine grind. It should kind of look like table salt almost. So like not too, too coarse, not too, too fine, just kind of like right middle of the road. Um, this is something that in the future you can actually play with to mess with how strong your coffee is. So if you brew at this ratio and you want a stronger cup, you can actually just fine your grind up a little bit. I pre-ground some coffee right before we started today. Um, it's that medium to fine grind. I'm just gonna measure out 114 grams right here. So I've got 114 grams in this little cup here, ready to go. Um, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna fill my water. Um, if I wanna be really neurotic about it, I could actually weigh the water that I put into my machine if you know that your machine puts out the exact amount of water or if your machine doesn't already have like little measuring lines. Um, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and weigh your water. If you don't know what your machine puts out though, go ahead and brew that batch, um, measure that water, and that'll help you get that number. I'm gonna take my filter, make sure you just grab a single there. Um, this brewer's just got a really typical like brew basket. You wanna pop your filter into your brew basket just like that so it's nice and like flat and even. And then I'm just gonna take my coffee, pour it right into my filter. Um, before you brew your batch, go ahead and take this little brew basket Give it just a little shake. Make sure your bed is really nice and level. That just helps the water move through it more evenly so that there's not like a big mountain of coffee and the water's like running off to a side. It's just gonna create like a more even extraction. <laughs> On this machine, it's got a few settings there. I just went ahead and hit start here. It's gonna brew that 1700 grams of water over my 114 grams of coffee. 
ground at that medium grind setting and I'm gonna get my batch of coffee. With this batch of coffee, now that I have a few set variables, so I've got my brew ratio, that 15 to one, and I've got my grind setting, I can play with those now. So if I brew this batch and I feel like, oh God, that was a little weak, I wish it was stronger, or it's a little bit too strong, I would like it to be a little bit more mellow, you can change one of those two variables to try and make your coffee taste more low, like the way you want it to. If it's too strong and you just want to use a little less coffee, so you want to try like, a 16 to one ratio, you can do that. You can even go up to 17 or 18 to one. Um, you can also play with the grind in the same way. If it's too strong and you want it a little bit more mellow, you can make a bit of a coarser grind so there's bigger grind particles. Try to change one at a time, try not to change both together. When we mess with ratios by changing one at a time, we know kind of what fixed it or what made it better, or what made it worse, and we can kind of take little mental notes from there and make the changes we wanna see. Just as a quick recap, to do better coffee at home, there are a few things to kind of remember. Make sure that you're actually using a recipe, and when I say recipe, make sure you're using a ratio. We like 15 to one, play with it. Um, so remember that bigger number is always the water, the smaller number is always the coffee in that ratio. And then also make sure that your coffee is ground fresh. Make sure you're at that like medium to fine grind setting and you should be pretty solid. Cool, so now our coffee's done. Um, we can go ahead and taste it and see if there's anything we wanna change about it or if it's just delicious as it is. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more content just like this and uh, leave us a comment letting us know what you wanna see next.